and welcome to the Media Zone. Ed and Dave here. Ed and Dave with you. Celebrating the middle of July this week. We are. Why are we celebrating it? Because uh, we're still in the midst of summer. We're about hit the halfway point here and then it goes downhill from here. Oh, really? I have many things to look forward to. Ooh, like I have a vacation I'm going mm. away. Mm -hmm. I have a big Alice Cooper concert coming Ooh. up. And, uh, you know, see if you can get me backstage passes. Um, <laughs> well, don't you have connections over there? Yeah, we do have a connection. Uh, what, day, what day is he coming to town? July then? 25th, Ed. Okay. And only a few days. So uh, get me some connections there. Okay. Uh, my, my it might be tough, though, because he's charging, apparently, for backstage visits, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, some Ooh. VIP passes that cost like five hundred dollars. You know, I I went through that before. We don't want to get into that, but I'd like to do it for free. Yeah, maybe we can uh, uh, have you directed when he's about to use the urinal day. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I can go. No charge for that. That's that's right. That's free. Uh, but yeah, I got that. I have a I have a, a, a big uh, aunt's ninetieth birthday coming up. Having a big celebration there. You, your aunt's ninetieth birthday. Ninetieth birthday. That is a long time. It is. Her uh, 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 husband, which is also my uncle, uh, also ninety. Oh. Ninety. Both alive and kicking. Hmm. Alive and kicking, doing well. Ninety. Did they turn ninety in May or in July? <laughs> <laughs> That's a way inside joke, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, the, and, and my vacation. And a track vacation? Season. My vacation coming up. Track, track season? season? Mm -hmm. I once went or, to the once track once in my life, Dave. Yeah. They go once or twice a year, maybe. Yeah. But there's still plenty ahead for me. Uh -huh. And for you, too. Enjoy the summer. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Piranha 3D at the end of August. Oh, That's okay. about all I got no. get penciled in, Dave. Wow. Well, we're still alive, Ed, and that's something. Oh, that is something. It's very for... important. Otherwise... Many of our many alumni days. are gone now. Many? Yes. There's a lot of them There gone. is quite a few. Oh, speaking of, remember we talked about the Jaws having its 35th right. anniversary. Right. This is our 30th anniversary. Holy! Really? Of graduating. I haven't heard one that's thing right. about a reunion of any kind. I know I pissed off that Laura Engelhardt or whatever her name was <laughs> on the Facebook because I said her reunion last year was too much money. Oh, okay. I said, why don't we just have a cheap one at Cook's Park? You know, everybody brings their own thing. Are but, the parks open, Ed? <laughs> would Cook Park have been closed during the know. governor's? That's not quite a That's national a state, state right. park. No, and nobody's quite sure what that is, over there, except there's some baseball once in a while. So you said it was too expensive? I said it was forty forty five dollars for this not even a real reunion reunion uh, get together wherever it was over in uh, that I don't know where it was I think it was a picnic I don't know it was way overcharged worse than price chopper <laughs> this reunion was <laughs> and I said why don't we all just get together and hang out at a Cooks Park thing you rent the pavilion you bring your own stuff and did she respond uh, yes yeah, she responded by removing me as a friend. <laughs> <laughs> this seems to be happening a lot to you. Well, People don't want you around as just a friend. Her, just her and Price Chopper. I'm going to create a Facebook account just to have you be my friend, and then I'm going to eliminate oh, you. Oh, no. I still have plenty of friends there. Do you? Okay. Enjoying uh, my occasional blurb. All right. I don't bore people with I'm going to the store now or I'm going to take a dumper. Or <laughs> I have seen those on there. <laughs> I have seen those where people just say the most ridiculously <laughs> mundane things. Yeah. It's a little bizarre. I but uh, something interesting, if Gary Coleman dies and I have a picture of myself with Gary Coleman, I'll post that up there. It's kind of interesting. My good friend Gary Coleman has <laughs> right. passed away. Right. Here's a picture of us. Yeah. That's it nice. looks like it's a bit of interest to somebody out there. I'll do something. But not every day I'm doing this and that and with the Facebooks. Okay. <laughs> what do we have tonight, Ed? What well, we, we got two films. These aren't the biggest uh, summer releases. It's uh, Inception yep. and The Sorcerer's Apprentice, which oh. is tied into Disney a little bit. Oh. Another one of these, what? Percy Jackson, Sorcerer, Harry Potter, yeah. uh, the, 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 whatever the one with Gyllenhaal recently, uh, the one with M. Night Shyamalan. Uh -huh. oh, just, I'm sick of them. I, can, uh, I can't say this for sure because of our taping schedule, but I can say pretty much that tank day <laughs> <laughs> last week. I'm pretty sure that went right in the toilet. Very good. We have our DVD releases too? We have DVD releases. And Walmart, uh, people of Walmart? We're doing the Walmart people this week. We promised that a couple weeks ago. In our game? 
We're doing the game. We're going to give people a chance to win free movie tickets with the Picture Pairs game. Picture Pairs game. And we'll tell you how you can enter that at home. Plenty. And, and I'll try to be accurate this time. Because last time I said how to write in, and you couldn't do it that way. Yeah, we don't have no. the P.O. box right. anymore. See, I'm still thinking actual paper putting it in the mail works, no. but you can't do that. For, for, for two reasons. Budgetary reasons. <laughs> that was shut down. And also, nobody was really using it anymore. It was all email. There you go. We're in an email world now. We are, Ed. We are. So shall we begin with our first film? Yeah. Is it The Sorcerer's Apprentice? It is. Well, how about that? Let's get on to The I Sorcerer's Apprentice from Walt Disney world. Pictures, which stars Nicolas Cage, my favorite actor, Alfred Molina, and Monica Bellucci. The Sorcerer's Apprentice is an innovative, and if you're uh, Hugh Grant, you say innovative, and epic romantic comedy adventure about a sorcerer and his hapless apprentice who are swept into the center of an ancient conflict between good and evil. It's rated PG for fantasy action violence, some mild rude humor, and brief language. If a sorcerer's weak, his magic is weak. <laughs> Everything we do is to protect man. I'm not a hero. I'm just a physics nerd. Let's go train. Weapon of choice. Plasma bolt. I got one. And again. How'd you do that? I'm a sorcerer. Well, that's new. All that drivel about good versus evil. The world's about two things. Power and control. Great men have always been called. This is your calling. No way. So we're supposed to save the world. Knuckle bump. Might as well. Dave, you should run. <laughs> We're just saying, Dave, it seems to be all the same film yeah. from Prince of Persia, The Last Airbender, this one. Yeah. Throw in that Twilight series with the computer werewolves, and it's all the same film. Yep, yep. Nicholas Cage is uh, apparently going to the same hairdresser that uh, Sean Connery would go to. <laughs> Every film, he's got different <laughs> hair. Sometimes he's bald, sometimes he's got just. You know, short he, haircut, long hair. He picks the piece that fits, fits the character, Dave. Is, is that what it does. is? That's what Sean Connery always well, did. All right, well, and how, about we, how about we have some directors that pick an actor that can actually <laughs> act, as opposed to Nicolas Cage? I'm trying to think of a film I like Nicolas Cage in. Peggy Sue Got Married? <laughs> I fell asleep during okay. that one in the theater. <laughs> I kind of liked him in that Ghost Rider. Which no one saw. Uh, I saw it on like TNT some uh -huh. time ago with that hysterical line where he comes out and says he's got a splitting headache or something. Oh, he's on fire. Yeah. Oh, he got a splitting headache. He wanted to play Superman a long time ago. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. We got something a little different this time. It's Inception. Inception. There you go. It's 